Hello and welcome to Sea Open at Nashville Super Speedway. We're back at this great track, and I'm not so sure about my qualifying speed at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I'm kind of like able to just get into the 29s if I hit hit it just right. But I'm seeing there's at least one other person in here. The number two um, was getting. 29 sixes. They uh, did that in the practice before this and uh, in the warm up. And I cannot match that. I'm not even close. I'm several tenths off that. So I'm worried there's going to be more people that are able to get down there. I'm just barely able to get in the 29s. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll see or, uh, where I can take it. But a little worried about my qualifying pace. Especially if I take it way too easy like that. Make sure I don't do anything stupid, hit the wall or anything. One more lap. That was way too soft. I'm gonna need to push it this second uh, second lap. Me too. But uh, I am the number one truck, unfortunately. I thought maybe uh, that wouldn't be the case. We are um, racing about 3 p.m. So I thought maybe we'd get lots of people signed up and everything, and I don't know, maybe there is a, a decent bit of people signed up, but still the number one, so that kind of stinks, but not quite into the 29s, but we're able to get a 30-0 at least. Just, uh, was feeling kind of off on short run pace. Don't know what it is. I got 90% tape. It was feeling too loose with 100 so I went with 90. Maybe, uh, maybe that's part of the problem. Is should have just tried to power through it. I don't know. <laughs> but thankfully, here at Nashville Super Speedway, usually it's more about long run speed because you don't get cautions here very often. Let's see if that's the case here today. I believe in Gavin's race they went green all the way, which is awesome. But I will uh, have to be ready to adapt to whatever circumstances show up. Yeah, not very good, unfortunately. So, interesting. The two was not able to back it up. So, the, th the 30 minute practice before this, they got 29 6. And then, even in the warm up, like just like a couple minutes ago, they got the 29 6. But we're not able to back it up during qualifying. Unless they're still on their first lap. But everyone getting into the 29s. And then we got me. Not able to do it, but we're we're in front of a nice handful of people at least still. I should have practiced with time, maybe of time. Um, I'm just gonna practice a green flag pit stop because it is a little tricky to get onto pit road here, and it might very well be necessary. So, see if we have enough time to get around the track and do a practice. So we did the uh, B open already. That should already be uploaded by the time this one's coming out. That one was a fun race, challenging. And I expect this one to be pretty good as well. Baby that was a little bit of a. <laughs> that baby did a little bit going in there, but it's all right. Man, it's wealth. So a little lower than I'm used to starting. But we got a strong field here. Um, even though I am the number one, I think we still got some good fast drivers. I mean, I do know we do have strong fast drivers. So, and I just I wasn't even really all that far off either. Like, if I were just a tenth faster, I would be all the way up here. It's just everyone's real close around these times. So, that's interesting. Gonna have to try to. Uh, Keep this thing good for long run. Make sure we remember to put the tape back where it was. It's about five more seconds. Looks like we're ready to go. Okay, Colton, your engine temperature. Six incidents in qualifying. Oh no! 
22 had a rough time. Hopefully they can figure that out before the race. I don't know, maybe they just kept spinning it because of cold tires while they're trying to get too much. I don't know. 13th. That's the lowest I've qualified in a while. Hmm. Whoa. Interesting. Like I said, though, everyone's pretty darn close. You got 29 nines from 6th to 9th. And then 30s all the way down. So between 29 nines and the 30s, all the way down to like 21st. 30.1s all the way down to 15. Yeah, it's, it's all real close there. So. If I could have just pushed a little harder, I probably would have been up a handful of spots, but hopefully it shouldn't matter. Hopefully everything will, you know, be nice and clean and everything will work out where we're supposed to end up anyway, wherever that may be. Maybe I'm slow. I don't know, but. Hey, chilling. Good luck. Volume's a little bit low. Where did you fall out on that league race? Yeah, my back's a bit stiff. Oh, yeah. I gotta like adjust my posture here. Sorry, I was where'd, you, chair. where'd you end up in the league race? There we go. P eleven, man. I got caught in the back and smacked the wall a couple of times in the last run. Well, yeah, I think you were running up front for the beginning of the race. Some guys uh, coming yeah, out of the league race. Really I think they said. Start, but I got mired in the back. There are three. Nice There's lap. During the track. I'm really going to have to try to uh, just be patient, hopefully not get run over from behind. So if this does go green, we're going to want to have a nice, healthy truck for the whole ride. Get caught up here because it's already one to green at a larger track. First gear start. Nah. Second gear. Especially if we're back here. Get ready. Going green. Gonna be a night race here. Right, Nashville right, Super Speedway. Oh, I can't see. Green, green flag. Green flag. Wait until green, please go. Inside lane did not go at all. A little bit loose there as I got higher on the throttle. For now. What are we doing? How did that happen? Right in front of me, but I missed it all. Alright, that's not a good start to the race. What happened to being patient and keeping the truck clean? I was doing so that one truck came back up and spun around and got me in the front. Yeah, sorry for him, but I came up on it. I was trying to Race cars out. Line up single file. Damn, I thought I about dodged it and I got a few for the two. Come on, bud. Well, now we gotta go fix some damage. That was me. Sorry, guys. Got loose and then uh, tried to keep it up in the wall to bounce stop and get in. Yeah, sorry, uh, the rubber's very shy. Yeah, I'm affected. Alright, so that, that was that guy. Guess he got loose at the wall. That's what happens when you don't qualify well, I guess. So we're gonna ride around. Four, five, or six. 
we are going to not take tires, but we are going to make sure we fix damage that we have. It's too early to be dealing with damage. I don't know where the 25 is going. Taking the access road entrance. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. You've got plenty of fuel. Pit box team, 10. Put fuel in it. Just because. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Uh, about 54 seconds. That'll give us a chance to look at it, I guess. Man, it's just like our lead race. A minute of damage right in the middle of the race. 254. Yeah, I didn't even see anything happen. I just all of a sudden got hit. So the 14 gets loose, over so corrects. Yeah, I did not even get to see that coming. Nothing I can do about that. Just wrong place at the wrong time. Qualify better, I guess, if I don't want that to happen. We'll get it all fixed, though. Should be able to. Uh, no, I know right I didn't come up on somebody there when that wreck was going on. Whoever it was, I'm sorry. I was just trying to avoid it. Get that thing turned on. I don't know why it turns off. Move it, move it. All right, so I think we should be okay. We got the damage fixed. It's not going to be perfect anymore, yeah, even with uh, it quote-unquote fixed, but hopefully it won't be too bad. It's not like we're going to be down on power or anything. Or my tires off catching up to the field either. Boy, the last race I had last night went green all the way. Yeah, that's weird. I guess if cautions are going to happen here, yeah, they're going to happen in the, at the very start when the tires are cold and sketchy, though. Oh, I haven't been on all day. This is my first race back since last night. I've, I've won two out of three races I raced last night. Finished third in my last one. Uh, just in case, I'll take a look. Yeah, I think we're idling just fine. Kind of twitchy, but. All right, guys, let's get get, get guys ready, and girls. Green. Let's get some uh, green flag glass racing here. The pace car is off. Be ready. Yeah, what you said, I guess. Going, but nobody else is going. It's like in fourth gear or something. I understand. Gosh. Gotta be patient, but goodness gracious. Sorry about that, guys. I know better than third and third gear. Hey, hey. Oh, that's correct. In third gear. I said fourth gear, but same concept. Alright, you have a good start, but not the end of the world for sure. Try to uh, just keep moving. Not overdrive anything. This guy's like backing off way before the corner or something. Weird. Outside. Still there. Keep low. Go low. Clear up, 
trying to get around people without hurting my tires a whole bunch either. Hard for some reason. Pinching me. I guess he didn't pitch me that bad, but I'm nervous. Drive it on the right rear. Oh, whoa, what's going on up there? I got someone in the grass. Got loose, maybe? Oh, that orange truck makes a weird decision. I don't know why he decided to try to go down there, but they, uh, taken the road course. Nashville road course. That was interesting. So, uh, the trucks around us now are a little bit closer to race pace. Be a little bit tougher to get around, guys. Hang on to me for some reason. My internet's bad right now at a very bad time. Gotta get around him now. I can't waste all day next to next to him. Okay, Colton, we want to watch your water temperature. It's looking a little high. So we have to watch the temper there. Your chief says water temps uh, getting high. That's he's way too sensitive about that though. So not too worried about it. When the actual eye racing. Crew chief starts saying things about it. That's when I start to be concerned a little bit. Try to keep it kind of lower on the track. Hope it get rotated. We're in 12th. Not where I'd like to be, but yeah, we haven't had ourselves a very good start, so I can't uh, expect much else. Your lap time was 20.7. Kind of stuck now. We uh, about the same pace as the guys ahead. Well, it's pretty spread out too. You've just done at thirty point eight. Cup times are pretty consistent. Don't know if I'm saving tires well. I feel like I might not be. It just feels like it's not. I wish the setup were a little bit looser. It feels a little bit too bound up. On entry and in center, and I feel like that's making it go on the right front too, too much. This is a just an OSR setup. Feels pretty good, just uh Hoping it'll be good in the long run too. P12. These guys are 
because they're side by side and kind of all over the place. It's a whole bunch of time. Apron, now holding me up. my tires up doing this but still there inside clear didn't get the right angle on the corner there that back was a 31.1 It feels tight. I wonder if the damage has anything to do with it. I just I hate that the race started off that way. So bound up on at center, and I, I just I didn't even get a chance to feel if like that's how it is normally, or if the damage has left me with tighter conditions. I don't know, but it's just I'm not too happy with the way it feels right now. Not uh, getting the rotation I want. Six point six gallons. Six point six gallons. That's too much to try to save or anything, obviously, so I'm gonna have to come in the pit. Got behind, overdrove it real bad. Man, I just I feel like I don't I just don't have just don't have the equipment or something. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. It could always be me, but Feels like it's not driving well. Like, I feel like there's no way they should be able to be that far away from me up ahead. wall up there a little bit. Maybe we'll have some people falling off. Not sure. Like something different on entry there. I don't think it was a good idea. Man, don't have anyone to race around now. I did at the start and then they ran into me. 
Now, now I miss it. <laughs> it's almost like the truck was set up for looser conditions or something, like a hot day, and then we're getting this, like, late night overcast setting, which I know that's not the case because OSR sets up their uh, setups for each week for the current track temps and stuff, but that's what it feels like right now. It feels like it's just too grippy, or that's not the right word, it's just attached to the track too hard. I don't know if that makes any sense. Car is understeering, is what I'm saying. Good consistency. Keep them coming. So I'm not sure when I'm going to come in and pit. Maybe I should have gotten tires knowing that we wouldn't have a whole bunch of cautions, but I guess I didn't know that at the time because, well, recent experience had shown that there were going to be cautions all of a sudden. So, I wanted to check my all-time best there. Because... Shows how much tire fall off is making our lap time slower. I'll probably come in right at lap 40, which would make sense, you know, halfway, except for the fact we had that caution. However, that's how I'm going to do a quote unquote undercut by actually just taking tires at, you know, the halfway point. Now then again, do I trust everybody to be able to get into pit road without spinning? I don't know. It's tricky. Maybe I'll wait and see how things are looking, but... Right now, that's my tentative plan. With this 27 coming up on us, they probably... They must have, like, hyper-saved tires. Car's so tight. Truck, whatever. Wish I had a looser setup. Okay, the Unless this one is good and it's... Just the damage, but... I don't know. I don't know. Twenty-seven's catching me from way back. I'm not going to waste too much time fighting him. In fact, ideally, I shouldn't have to waste any time. I hope they uh, be able to get around me real quick. Seventeen might be coming back to us there. Not sure I haven't really been paying attention to his gap ahead. All of a sudden it seems like the twenty seven's not catching me anymore. Not sure what that's about. Nah, he's here. Just ask him to get the nose on me first. Your engine temperature's looking better now. I swear he was catching me super fast, and then all of a sudden he's kind of like stalled behind me. Still planning to come in at lap 40, as of right now. I 
I don't know. I guess the 27 just stopped moving forward. I don't know. It feels like one lap he's catching me hard, and then the next lap he's not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. Just keeping an eye out in case he dives it in on me. I'm worried about that a little bit. I just don't know how to set up a pass to pass out of the corner and stuff a lot of the time. Alright, coming up on our pit stop. Inside. He was diving it in on me. So uh, I'll tell you, no reason for it. He's clearly got a faster truck. Clear. What's ahead is now Norman 2. We'll pit in here then, I guess. Maybe I'll go one more lap since I have a little bit of draft right now. For them to pull away from me. He's way up the track. Pitting in here. Watch your speed. Okay. We'll fill that was okay. Could have been faster. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Okay. Speed. Six point two. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Trusting Nashville Super Speedway to stay green here. Worked out in the B race, but we'll see about this one. Seventy eighty two. The car feels so tight. Okay, go. Be real careful on exit there. I will loop on you if you're not careful on that access on that uh, exit road, access road, whatever you want to call it. So now we try to take advantage of these good tires and hope it stays green. So when did, where did we come in? We were 12th, I think, maybe? Is that where we were? The gap behind has increased to 16 seconds. Something like that. Yeah, I think I think something's wrong with the handling of the truck, because even on cold tires now, exiting four, normally it would be real sketchy loose. It still feels tight-ish. Which makes me think something's weird with the handling of this thing now. Oh my god! Clear. <laughs> Lap car. Maybe spinning out. 17th place. The lead is pitting now. It's pitting. It's pitting now. We get a couple laps on the undercut. That a little softer. Save tires for half a corner.
Hopefully we had a good stop, a good entry and exit. Always real hard to tell if I did an okay job with that. I like that we'll have a little bit of draft. That's good. Uh, five's gonna pull away from us, though, because she's on new tires. As she should, she was plenty ahead of me. So, things are gonna cycle out naturally, and people that were ahead are gonna get ahead again, but maybe not as much. We'll see. A little bit of draft though, that for sure is nice. Alright Colton, that time's pretty consistent. B11. I do believe I was in 12th, so we'll see how, uh, how we cycle out. I think it should be favorable to us though. I think I did an okay job. Your water temperature looks quite high. You're in the top 10. You're in the top 10 for now. Okay. Uh-oh. That guy has disconnected. Someone is just now entering the pits for the first time. Someone squirrely up here, I think. Not sure what's going on there. Alan is now in the lead. Okay, Colton, there's a car exit. The eleven, the they've been left down since the wreck at the beginning. Got the car outside, the car in front is oh. outside, you clear. Wasn't entirely sure where they're gonna be, but thankfully, we're not on the bottom. This guy's gonna pass us right back here very soon because he just came out of the pits. Ooh, almost followed that uh, number nine into the wall. I'll try to get this top 10 here. I feel like that will be a decent uh, recovery after a very unfortunate start. I feel like I should have been able to do better. Then again, I qualified poorly and I didn't have damage to uh, make an excuse for that. So maybe I just, uh, just not very fast. I don't know. Four setting up a pass on me. Inside. There he goes. Still there, hold your Not line. fighting him. Clear. Instead, get a break early, get around an exit, and then follow him. See him pulling away with much ease <laughs> on his much newer tires. So just like the uh, whoa, he's getting loose. Um, just like the Xfinity race, I've ended up with some of the oldest tires on the track. The time was just, uh, both times felt like the right way to do it. And I trust that Nashville Super Speedway will stay green, so that's a big part of it. We've got this 8 coming up pretty quick. They're going to get around us very easily. Then we got 6 seconds back to the next guys, so that's making me feel pretty good. So 
going to get us here. Car inside. Clear inside. Uses draft. Feeling tight again already. I miss the days when I was struggling loose on exit. So I, I doubt we're gonna have we're gonna move forward at all, pending any accidental wall contact or anything in front of us or uh, anyone running into each other. I don't think we're going to move forward at all. The most we can hope is that we don't fall back anymore. And I'm a little concerned about that because the six seconds has already become five. And we got a lot of laps to go. I've still got eight back to the 21 back there. So maybe the top ten will still be possible. It's still looking good that we had a good pit cycle. Given the fact I entered in one like twelfth or whatever. I think I entered the pits in twelfth in the Xfinity race too. There's apparently some parallels between these two races. Except for the uh the whole uh get run into on lap one or two or Whatever early lap that was, that did not happen in the Xfinity race. It's fine, you got loads. Put on a fuel, wasn't really concerned about it, but thought I'd check anyway. Four seconds back to the 17. second. We're approaching that number seven pretty quickly. Are we not? Something going on with them? Interesting. Yeah, we're showing we're going real quick compared to them. Are they still out on the original tires or something? Are they going full long? They are way off pace. What's going on with them, but outside, that's a spot. Clear. I wish lap trucks would back off instead of going side by side with me through the entry of the corner, but that's okay. Maybe they've got someone near them that I don't know about where they have to race. I don't see them, but who knows. So that makes me feel a little bit better, especially about getting that top 10 that I wanted. Man, this thing just feels so dull to drive. It's got no life in it. The gap in front has increased. It's now about It's not getting loose anymore. It's just plodding around, feeling real slow. Three and a half back to ninth place. 
maybe we will be able to hold them off. They're still gaining, but not quite as quickly as maybe they initially seemed they would. Interesting. Maybe we'll end up eighth. We have gained on the 17 that lap. All right. Four half. Thanks, Chuck. No problem. Thanks, Evan. I can only guess that that 7 must have uh, just had not pit yet, taking it a full fuel run. And if not that, maybe hit the wall so hard they really damaged it. Or something. You've just done a 31.4. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Well, I have to admit, this is pretty boring. <laughs> There's, uh, we're not catching anyone, and we're not really being caught anymore either. Kind of just in no man's land. The car feels dead. It's not really all that fun to drive, necessarily. Now, I need to start remembering that this is an open series, and I can do something about a tight truck. Like, we have adjustments. I remember Gavin posted his cheat sheet of adjustments for tightening and loosening, loosening race cars. I need to have that by my side for these races, in case I need them. Really love to uh, loosen this thing up. Uh-oh, so the 17 wasn't catching us anymore. And now this 27 might be. I remember he was really good on long run pace in the first half, so that number might be dropping real quick, that relative. Definitely gonna have to keep an eye on that now, but we got 10 to go, so he's gonna have to hurry if he wants to catch us. At least there's a little bit of in intrigue now, something to watch out for. Of course, there could always be a caution. It's not impossible, just unlikely here. This track. Especially when everyone's so spread out at this point. It doesn't feel good to be this far off pace, though. The next guy adds over six seconds ahead, and he's only seventh place. Either the OSR setup just doesn't have it this week, or uh, getting smacked on the right side early on turns out to be a bad thing for the truck. Even more than I maybe thought. Oh man, he's only 2.3 back now. He's gonna catch me. Dang. Alright. That's okay. I can live with that. I'll be disappointed. I can live with that. That was at 31.5. Increased to 7.6. Two seconds back now. Almost pushed up in the wall. Well, maybe he's slowing down. Maybe he's not catching as fast anymore. Oh, I gotta keep working though. Can't get complacent. I can see him back there in that rear view mirror.
Oh, the truck's just getting more and more tight, though. You got five left to go. Time to go. He's one point five back. I think we're okay. That was a uh, 12.6. The gap in front is now 8.5 seconds. Seems to mostly gain through turns one and two. It almost seems like we stay even in turns three and four. that time he gained a little bit there but it's not going to be enough i don't think count to what behind is now 1.3 seconds the lap time was at 31.5 you've got two laps to go two laps to go 27's getting bigger in that rear view mirror but i think we're okay He's getting pretty close, actually. It's making me nervous. I'm hoping that the draft doesn't bring him up even faster. I have to gain almost a second in one lap, so I think we should be fine. Plus, we have a little bit of draft ahead. I hope that doesn't turn into we have a little bit of lap car in my way. But, should be fine. Got about five laps of fuel. Alright, bring it around the final corners. And we are okay. Alright, P8. I'm happy with that. Ended up with uh, a gain of four spots through the pit cycle. So I can feel good about that. Um, salvage top 10 after getting Smeckledorfed early in the race. So, alright, I can live with that. Depending on the string of feel, I might lose like 10 I rating or something, but that's okay. Who cares? Alrighty, so tires are going to be bad. 68, 83, yep, because it doesn't turn anymore. So it's all on the right front. And uh, we did move forward a decent bit from our starting spot, which was entirely my fault. So <laughs> I guess I can feel good. Excuse me, how about moving forward? 4X should equal out because of how many laps we did, though. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get a good quick view of how I got that 4X pretty early on here in the incidents. down a little bit. Bop. Yeah, it was lap one, huh? Yep, took a look at it earlier. Just a chain reaction, too, to get to me. Oh, wow, there were actually a lot of people in this. Oh, no. It's a big wreck. Yeah, 14 just gets loose, and uh, chain reaction involves me in it. Corrected and it bounced off. 5, 25 nowhere to go. Which sends 14 into that guy. Which sends him into me. I guess it's nice it softened the blow a little bit. So I didn't get the full brunt of it, but it still did not do nice things to the truck. Dominoes just falling over here and then some people making it through. Others, not so much. 
Couple guys arca breaking it. Like, oh, this guy looks like he never, ever even hit the brakes. Like, look at all, you know that now. Just hit the brakes. Caution is going to come out, man. He's rushing into the accident. Just never slows down. I don't get it. I don't get it. But, uh, here's the guy that did at the incident. It's like, yeah, it was that guy. <laughs> That's fine. No one ever seeing this, but it can remind us how that guy never hit the gas pedal. He was on third gear, he said. He admitted it. <laughs> look. First of all, look how far back he is in the first place. And the leader goes, and he's already got two truck length lengths. Excuse me. And then he's in third gear. Even this guy's not going. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, man. And then it goes green to the end, don't forget. So all this space I'm losing, that's track space. I should be hitting the gas now and going. And no, nobody, look at when I jump, because I can see the leader. Look at me compared to everyone else. Just not going. <laughs> I don't know, man. Everyone's looking at the bumper in front of them or something. So I have to go around the outside. I don't like doing that, being so aggressive, but you gotta kind of go when it's time to go. Uh, oh well. When it kind of weaving around. It's like the, uh, yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, what happened up here? We didn't see that. It didn't just show up. But I think this guy just gets... Okay, so it's initially this guy ahead. Gets loose. And then inexplicably... Is it this guy that ends up below him? What? Where are you going? Look how much track he's got up here. Why are you aiming for him? Oh, I guess he thought he was going to fly up the track, but I feel like he had plenty of time to correct course. That's a weird one. Michael Davis 31. There are a lot of Michael Davises on iRacing. Apparently. We're just gonna get a bunch of wall hits, aren't we? I'm just gonna go through these quick. If they don't look like they're gonna be anything. Did uh, you get run into? Oh my gosh, that was close. But no. Okay, 21 just runs over the 16. That's also a weird one. This is already past the point when I pit. Uh-oh. This guy was ahead of me. And that's why he wasn't anymore. It's a lot of time lost. It's easy to do, though. It, it does get really unsettled getting into the pit lane. Starts turning left a whole lot. Couple guys still out on those old tires struggling to turn, maybe. Guessing maybe that's what's going on there. I don't know, maybe they're on new tires. Already lap 55. It's a pretty heavy wall hit. 13's been having a lot of trouble. I've seen him hit the wall a couple times, plus the pit entry thing. He's got decent speed, though. He was running up there. It's just uh, some uh, messy issues. Oof. That guy's in the wall pretty bad. That's what happened to him. He was behind us for a while. I remember seeing the 17 behind us and the relative. He's weaving all over, having trouble to get that going again. It's near the end of the race. It's just him maximizing it, and then that's the burnout. So that's it. All right. So maybe felt like I could have done a little bit better, but P8's just fine after getting hit pretty hard on lap one.
So kind of had to fight back from uh, in the hole a little bit from the start. And uh, can't feel too bad about that. So is what it is there. Don't know what, <laughs> what we got going on. On the front stretch. Uh, I guess they're gone. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for C Open at Nashville Super Speedway. Yeah, I guess out of 27 tracks, 8th is definitely not so bad after uh, getting caught up in that incident. So I'll leave the track feeling just fine. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.